Have you ever heard someone so amazing that their righteous gratitude just pierces your ears and you fall into a world of asphyxia? I have single-handedly found the man who can do this to your earballs. In this 38-part documentary, we will dive deep headfirst into the mind of the wizard pianist. I begin my journey in Sacramento, California, where the pianist resides. Give me a quick little breakdown on how you've gotten this good. It all starts with a good little bit of, uh, you know, it takes a little bit of practice. It takes a little bit of dedication. Uh, it takes a little bit of, uh, consult some locals to get an insight on how they feel about the penis and how talented he is and how impressive he is and how big he is. I just want to get like an Australian's take on what you think of this uh, pianist. He may, I mean, uh, you know, he's not, he's not too bad, but uh, he could be better. Do you, do you think you're the best of all time? It is extremely well known that the wizard penis does not get along well with his brother, so I decided to go out and visit him to get his point of view on his brother and fully understand why they do not get along. Alright, so who are you? I'm, uh, I'm Willie. And you're the brother of the great piano wizard? Right. I heard you, uh, you know, you're interviewing my brother. Yeah, you guys don't get along? No. That's why he moved from Wales a long time ago. I've been hanging about. Wales? That's not Australia, is it? No, it's not. Uh -huh. What do you think it was? Yeah, what, what, what are you holding there? This here, uh, I'm a, it's yeah. a rake. I, I'm a landscaping specialist, but uh, my brother, he wants to do other things like, you know, play the piano, a pointless musical instrument. There's really nothing to do with, you know, breaking. Well, when was the last time you spoke with your brother? Oh, I don't know, probably something like... I heard it was 94. Seven. Yeah, that's, that's basically what I was going to say. Yeah. 94. You know, 94... Where were uh, you in the 90s? Oh, yeah, I was moving about. It was a tough time for me. Tough time, you know, my brother, he was leaving. So it was it was hard, you know, trying to adjust to, you know. Oh, hold it. Just got it. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, got, it's my duty. But, yeah. um, no, 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 for sure. Yeah, so. The wizard has given me the honor of letting me hear his new hit single off his brand new acoustic uh, album. I don't know if you recorded it. This is the one that, uh, you know, the, the real classic, so it starts out nice and easy. Oh yeah, you really hear it, like, settle in on your ears. And then, like, it gets a lot heavier when you, you know, increase the, so, like, Damn. it's much, like, richer tone, like, I really like how your facial expressions represent the keyboard. The emotion that you really feel. Mm -hmm. God, you're so talented. He's fucking shite. That's what he is. is Not gonna lie, I found a, I found a couple of hairs in my poop before. Uh, All right, and that's it. Thank you. Thanks for problem, uh, thanks. Thanks for thanks thanks for being a fan. What uh, what are you wearing? This is my traditional. It's, it's what the Welsh the Welsh wear. You know, when you write. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, garb. You kind of look like shit. Well, that concludes part one of the documentary. In the next 87 parts, we will go over how the pianist has risen to the top and will stay there for the rest of eternity. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.